box. I do not say, oh, darn, and throw them in the trash can. If it can be mended, I mend it because they're too expensive. Yeah. Well, that's cool. I'm going to make you big because I want to okay. see that a little bit better. Okay. Um, Hannah's darn, darns her socks. And she says, I, I said, don't they, doesn't that make them uncomfortable? She goes, no, they're just as comfortable as they are before, sometimes even better. <laughs> if you darn them properly. Now, this one, I will tell you, is not darned as well as it should have been. Um, I should have taken the time to go hunt up an actual, uh, taken out a, a light bulb from somewhere. Yeah. Um, a round light bulb really works better. Did you go live? Okay. Yeah, I'm live. Oh. You're live. Okay. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Um, a round light bulb works way better than um, a glass, but I was being lazy, so uh, and my stitches is, are definitely not as good as they used to be. Two things. You never tie a knot, and the hole is only about a quarter of an inch right there in the middle. Yeah. So you, you stitch around... And then you go back and forth, stitching where there's fabric, and you leave the hole open, you know, just long threads. And then when you go back this way, you actually weave them in. Cool. Well, Hannah, and the, and she's, she does it, she's done it with some really colorful yarn, so it's really cute. Really cute, yeah. Hi, um, another. We're glad you're uh, here. I used to get paid to darn socks, and I used to be much better at it than I am now. Um, my dad... Um, he had a me. very odd condition and he he's he had to wear cotton socks back in the day when cotton socks were not really easy to come by yeah and um especially cotton socks that uh went with a suit because dad wore a suit to work so um mom would when she found cotton socks she would buy everything they had in one color so that his socks would last as long as possible. And we, and I got paid to darn them. And um, now back then I had, mom had spools of cotton darning thread. Um, I'm just using a piece of embroidery floss. Yeah, that's, um, that embroidery floss is what Hannah usually uses. She yeah. says, Cause it lays flat and it. Um, mm -hmm. And darning thread is very much like embroidery floss. It's, it's, um, it's not twisted. It's flat. It's um, got um, multiple threads in it, like embroidery floss. For that, that matter, it could have been embroidery floss. I don't know. Yeah. Um, but it was on a it was on a little spool, like crochet thread is. Well, I'm so, trying to figure out where I put my scraps of. Pa oh, there they are. <laughs> so say, if I'm going to be sticking on scraps of paper, I'm going to need to find some scraps of paper. Some scraps of paper. Hi, Brittany and Sherry and Mindy and Becky and Patricia and Julie and Linda. Um, we were just discussing my um, my little project that I was working on Barbara. beforehand. We're glad y'all are all here. Everybody yep. came in at once. <laughs> I told Lisa that I usually say, oh, darn, and put the sock in the trash can. But these are smart wool socks. And... Uh, they cost way too much money to say, oh, darn, over a little tiny hole. Mm -hmm. I don't say, oh, darn, until the whole sock is about ready to go. Yeah. Um, but if you can catch it here, that won't get to that point. Oh, usually it's because I've totally worn all the surface out of the heel. Is when oh, uh -huh. I, I think I've been wearing smart wool socks for about 15 16 years now, Stephanie gave me, my sister gave me my first pair. And I think I've only gotten rid of one pair. The, wow. the rest of them are all there. And I usually treat myself to a couple new pairs every year. Now, uh, one year for Christmas, I treated Jeff to um, enough pairs to last all week. So he got seven pairs of smart wool socks for Christmas. If you don't think that broke the bank, oh, that was, that was a lot of. See Barbara's comment. A Hi, dozen Lord. pairs to fix. What are you using? I'm using embroidery, um, cotton embroidery thread, Barbara, because the um, I don't have any darning thread, so I'm just using embroidery thread, embroidery floss. It's flat. It's like darning what thread. You're using as your darning tool. Oh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> a light bulb works better. Uh, I I have just a minute. Let me get this thread out of here. I'm about ready to cut it loose. Um, 
I managed to tie it into a knot, and we do not want any knots. No knots are allowed. No knots. No knots. No, no knots. And if I don't, if it doesn't undo. She's going to show you what it's stretched on, Barbara. I'll show you in just a minute. I, I've just, I've just managed to make a mess. Is all. Oh, I caught the, I caught my beginning thread. I should have gotten rid of it ages ago. Okay. Hi, Nancy. We're glad you're here. Hello, Nancy. Um, light bulb is a better choice. Uh, old fashioned round light bulb, but because I didn't want to go hunt a light bulb, I'm going to tell Hannah about the light bulb thing. Oh, yeah. If she, if she doesn't have a darning, um, Mama had a wooden thing. Well, she's got know? a wooden thing and it has a, a metal band around it. Uh huh. You know, that you but, put over your sock. But, um, but she's always looking for other things. She's got a, a jar. We went. <laughs> We were at Walmart and she was picking up all of the uh, dressing bottles and oh. feeling them and turning them upside down and looking at them. And I was like, what are you doing? She was, I'm looking for a darning um, steel. She wanted one that was like this shape. Okay. And, and so she said, but most of, you know, all the plastic ones are too concave. Uh-huh. Yeah. And they won't work. So she said, I need a glass one. And but I only want it to be about this big. I don't want it to be really big because I want to be able to get the sock over it. But she has a place that's long, and she wanted. Long. To, um, yeah. Anyway, she ended up buying some dressing so that she <laughs> she could have the, the bottle. Well, that worked. Um, um was, light bulb. Two bucks. Is, <laughs> yeah. There you go. Um. Yeah. Darning egg is what it was I was looking for. Um. But I I didn't I didn't feel like going and hunting. Um. A, a light bulb so I just took a glass out of the kitchen cupboard it wasn't my favorite because you know this is of course in the toe and the glass round light bulb would have been much better but um, it's done now and uh, what's really interesting is I don't know how I managed to get this hole right there I must have caught this sock on something because it's not where my toes poke you know it's it's in a spot that's on the bottom of my toes and that you know should not have pulled a hole so yeah hi teresa we're glad you're here hi Janet. hi teresa we're glad you're here um yeah she I was mean, she was finishing her darning project yeah so i i just i just finished just, it on here i just finished it it's just all fixed now so but i just use embroidery thread barber because that's what i have like i said growing up mama kept balls of black and brown darning thread for dad's socks and that okay, is a you obviously really are poor gonna job have to go find you a sock not right this minute but find you a sock that needs to be darned and make a video of how to do it from the beginning because barbara needs to know well you know yeah well darn tanya um you know i was thought about putting it out as a video and then i thought no i'll just get my sock darned <laughs> <laughs> Because I'm probably going to want to take these on the trip Hi, because they're warm. So, but, oh, anyway, that was my, that was my project. What, one thing, one thing done that I could get done. Hi, Janice and Janet and Julie and Susan. And I hope I've said hello to everybody else. And if I didn't, I apologize. Hi, I have a Louise. darning dowel. A We're darning dowel. That would work too. A, a dowel. Well, what Hannah has, it's round like this, but it's just, it's, you know, it's shaped soft on the top, but it's definitely not, it's got a handle down here, but it's just a round thing. It's, yeah. it doesn't look like an egg. I've seen the eggs, but hers doesn't look like an egg. But it's something I found at the thrift store, and I just thought it was cool, and I brought it home. I didn't know she was going to end up wanting to darn her own socks, so, you know, yeah, it worked out. <laughs> um, Juanita, I like hand-knit socks, but I don't knit well enough to do it. They, it just, I have, like, two pairs started, and they are never going to get finished. It's one of those things. And hello, Ray. Um, Hi, Katrina. We're glad you all okay. are all here. I'll see if I can't find a sock with a hole in it, and I will darn it for you. If not, I will find an old sock that I would normally say, oh, darn. Because, you know, 
I'm willing to darn these, but like the cotton Hanes socks that I wear all summer where you buy a whole package of them, I am not willing to darn those. Those go in the trash can. Um, actually, they go into the the rag bin, and then, you know, when they're really gross, they go in the trash bin. Oh, Susan, uh, that ad is 3.17. Did, did you skip through? You don't have to watch it. <laughs> I was going to say, whoo. Looks like a wooden egg with a handle. Yeah, kind of. Kind of. Yeah, Need a glass. Hannah's doesn't look like that. It's different, but um, mm -hmm. but the wooden I've seen the wooden egg ones. In fact, um, I'm trying to remember if it was my grandmother or my mother who had one, and I I don't know what happened to it. It was kind of disappeared thing. Hello, Katerina. Um, okay, guys, I will I will work on that this weekend. How about that? I'll I'll see what I can do about finding a sock. It might just be a white cotton sock that I cut a hole in. <laughs> She's I gonna can do that. Do that for you. Yeah, I'll I'll do that. It's really easy. And like I said, I just used um, embroidery floss because it is very much like darning thread. Um, it would be nice if I had done a better job, but you know. Not too bad. <clears throat> Not too bad. Hi, Jacqueline. It's been a long well, time. I, I, I think I, I said hi to you. I just want to make sure. So I'm going to say it again. There's a look like a good piece that I'm going to start, maybe start with. Maybe that. Yeah. Oh, here's here's a little piece. I, I have to go to the other side of the room and get some um, pieces of paper because I didn't think about paper. You know, I was thinking about thread, and my thread is all right here. Oh, goodness, Teresa. Oh, what's going on? I didn't see. She, her eyes have gotten worse. Oh, no, hon. For new medicine. Okay, Teresa, I'm going to say a prayer for you right now. Heavenly Father, you know how important our eyesight is, Lord, and you know how important Teresa is, and I know she's even more important to you than she is to us. And I just pray, Lord, that you will give her doctor's wisdom give the insurance company mer um, merciful attitude lord make things work together for her best in this situation and of course we want the new medicine we think that's what's best but if it's not what's best then then you know do what's best but lord we're praying that her doctors will be able to get that approved for her and that it will help her and it will bless her eyesight and we just lift her up to you lord in jesus name amen amen Hello, Nettie and Jacqueline and uh, Hi, Janice. We got two both Janice. Janices. And Janice. Janice and Janice. I'm glad you guys are here. I just forgot my scrap bin. I just it's it's on the other side of the room, so I gotta get it over here. I remembered to get my um my little book. book page edges out oh and there's a piece on the floor that says it has to be stitched to something okay, okay well. there we go um what we're gonna do today guys is make some little thingies for our um Lori's here too hi Lori um oh that's a different Lori than I expected yeah, welcome we Lori we got two lorries oh. today. We got lots of multiples. Oh, goody. Um, these are just little uh, um, stitched on. Oh, well, that's just, I got them in the wrong spot. Little stitched on pieces. And um, like this is just a little piece of paper with some little thread. And I tied another little thread on there. This is a piece of fabric. I did that too. These are two little pieces of, there's no knot or anything. I just stuck two little pieces together. This is a little tiny piece of fabric that I stitched on there. This one I don't like so well, but you know, it's there and someday I might figure out what I want to do with it. I really like the, oops, that blue thread does not belong there. I really like this one. I just stitched around a piece of painty paper. This one is just stitched on. 
this is just a piece of bias binding. I mean, this is all, it was a scrap of bias binding, and I just stitched on the edge. And they're just to add into clusters or, you know, just whatever comes along. So that's, you know, we're just making little bits. Um, you guys forced me to want to go to the Dollar Tree after work. After your journal videos last night, I hope my store has those paper packs and spin and the spinner things. <laughs> um, I, I'm going. I'm going to tell y'all. I was in four Dollar Trees yesterday, hunting a couple of things. One of which was glue for these plastic fingernails, because this thumbnail is split way down into here. So I'm trying to protect it with this plastic fingernail. Three stores have plastic fingernails. One store has glue and no plastic fingernails. But I did find two new colors of paint that I'll show you. Um, these are two colors that they didn't have before, just so y'all know. Um, I'm wondering, Lisa, if they brought these out for Easter. I wouldn't be surprised. That makes sense. So, but now only one of the stores had them. However, um, that's another Lori is here. Hi, Lori. Um, in the past, only two of the stores I went to have had paint. Even the little junky store that I don't like, that's clear over on the other side of town, had that paint. So um, that is something that you might find happening is that the smaller stores are going to get the paint in their um hello yeah, they, they probably seen it's a good seller and so they're you know yeah uh, more willing well, to yeah and that's the thing and um that's that's one of those things that uh you you can hopefully the new store the bigger the smaller stores will be getting more of that kind of thing um the other thing was, is Kathy Deck from Michigan the other day said that her ollies had um, arcs, the extreme glue sticks. And I went and our ollies does not have extreme glue sticks, but I found one tube of this. Um, and I know that Dollar Tree is starting to carry it. Lisa said she's used it and really likes it. And this is really, really, really nice for, um, I think it'll be really nice to be able to squeeze it. So I got it to try. I don't know how it's going to do. I was complaining y'all were talking about ollies the other day and you know everybody was talking about what they got this or that at ollies and i was like well we don't have an ollies well magically overnight <laughs> magically we, overnight we they're gonna ollies. get they're gonna get out oh, <laughs> too funny too funny oh. hannah said okay. it wasn't magically overnight though she said they've been working on that store for a couple of months i was like oh okay she said you just hadn't seen it mom <laughs> But it's opening okay. soon, it says. But I just thought that was so funny. I never noticed it until I was complaining that we didn't have one. <laughs> didn't have one, uh-huh. Embossing powder for $1.79. Yay! That's cool, Nettie. Where'd you find it? Um, Brittany, you're probably right. The smaller stores don't have um, have the, the frozen food section. The other thing, though, is um, they're expanding the craft section everywhere because the big store here in town used to have like half an aisle of crafts, and now they have a whole aisle of crafts. So that's something I think that is is, you know, coming... I think we're going to use up this funky little rusty brown. Every time I get into these, I remember my dad. That's a nice, that's a nice thing to get into them. Yeah, those he kept his, 
Yes, they were his. They, he's, I mean, it was some project he did because, um, well, right now, this is two strands of embroidery floss. I don't want two strands. And it's wrapped together, and so it's whatever he was doing. Who knows what project he did? Um, he did cross stitch for a while, but he really liked uh, needlepoint better and involved fancy needlepoint, not just that stitch that crooked goes crooked. Yeah, he did. Thanks, Janet. Big fancy thing. Nettie got hers at Hobby Lobby. Cool. Yeah. That's where Shop we got a bunch. Box. There we go. Yes. Yep. We got ours in, um, we got a bunch of stuff in Hobby Lobby too. Um, okay. How do I want to do this? Oh, this may be the problem. That piece of brown cardstock is very stiff. It's hot, harder than a lot of the. Yeah, I'm trying to go uh, through. I'm going through a cereal box right now with paint on both sides and paper on one side. Oh, that's not easy. No. On this piece, I, I poked holes. But on this one, I had torn it. And so I thought, well, I'm just going to see. But it, my needles, I got a neat, sharp needle. Yeah, but out. it doesn't, it doesn't so. necessarily go through cardstock. So. And I think I'm going to have to tie a knot in that one, so that, uh, uh oh, which is cool because you know you can tie a knot or you don't have to tie a knot. And the idea behind these is to have little pieces that you can throw into a little cluster or something like that down the road. Uh oh, being what? Oh, what? Uh, the edge was thin where the I had torn off oh, and it uh -huh. went and just cut right through there, but I made it work. No biggie. Okay. Yeah. It's just a scrap piece of paper. Does anyone else know three ply or six ply embroidery floss for dining? I'm sorry, Barbara. I used all six plies. Um, I, I think Hannah does too, but I'm not positive. Yeah. I used, I used all six plies because I wanted, um, you're, you're weaving with it basically and um, so I just I just used all six and that's in the um, the darning floss that we used to get for dad's socks were very much like a six ply embroidery floss I'm sorry I didn't answer your question earlier I just didn't I didn't see it If you stick your needle in the bar of soap, it goes through easier. Probably would. The the big problem with um, trying to go through cardstock is that, you know, this Lisa, Lisa's using a cereal box. This piece of cardstock is just kind of stiff. This is a piece that's left over from a project I probably did five years ago. I don't, I'm... It may have been long. It was one of the very first mixed media things I ever did. Ever and did. And I did a swap with somebody on Jenny Belly's um, website. Uh-huh. And, um, and I painted this, you know, this cardboard for that. And it's been sitting around in my scrap box. That's Thank how old you, Brittany. <laughs> yes. And, um. Hi, Cindy. Cindy. We are we are doing little hand stitched embellishment pieces, just just little scrappy things. Um, I had my my box out here. I was gonna see if I had any more little itty bitty pieces of. I mean, that piece might be usable, but it also would work to cut it up. But a lot of the stuff in this box is tiny pieces. Um, yeah, I got out my medium sized box. Yeah, okay. I I well, cut them down and this is just a piece of ribbon. So, um, 
we're going to make three embellishments with it, but we got to make it a little more fun. We can't, we can't have it, you know, not, it needs to have some fluffies on the end. Oh, that one came up real fluffy. That worked real well. Louise's get... going to eat some lunch. Okay. You need all six for strength and wearability. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. Yay, Cindy's going to go get her stuff and work along with us. With us. Yay. Okay. So, you know, let's see here. The big thing with darning socks, Barbara, is not to tie any knots. Do not tie any knots. Because if you tie a knot, I guarantee it will be in a spot that it hurts. Makes perfect sense to me. Apparently, this is not a very sharp needle. I maybe have to look for another one. Oh, cool. Lori just said she bought a slow stitching kit from Brooke at, Brooke at Brooke's Creations. I mean, at Recreations by Brooke. So now she's got to sit down and start on it. Too many things she wants to do. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yep, yep. And too many things I need to do. My husband came in today and he said, well, I don't know if the rest of the day is going to go like this or if I just got really lucky. And I'm like, what happened? And he said, well, I dug six holes, six holes and didn't hit any roots. <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay. that's a nice, that's a nice uh, day. <laughs> I, I said, okay, it sounds like it's going well. And then he, but then he would, had to, go out after quick creep because he did not have any quick creep. So I asked him, he comes home and I asked him, I said, well, did you buy enough quick creep for the metal fence too? And he says, Oh, <laughs> I forgot that. <laughs> I'm like, okay. <laughs> it's like he has one thing on his mind. So, okay. That piece is done. And you know, just little pieces. Cindy said her craft tree, her Dollar Tree now has a craft section. Julie's back. Uh, yes, um, Juanita, it could. It, uh, um, a uh, a knot that, especially if you can't feel your feet. It for some some reason it's knots are really bad idea. Mm -hmm. Agreed. Okay, so we're gonna Hannah put this told me on. she was um, she was googling the um, the coat that she got at the thrift store today. Uh huh. And she said um, that these the coats this brand of coat second hand is going for over a hundred dollars. <laughs> and she said. I'm even happier with my $10 purchase now than I was when I bought it. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Well, you know, my sister, um, that's one of the, one of the things that she really wanted to do was to, um, buy and sell, um, vintage clothing. Yeah. Um, she never really has, she has a whole wardrobe of beautiful vintage clothing, but, um, she doesn't wear much of it anymore and she didn't wear much of it when she was buying it honestly um because she had to wear a suit to work yeah and um uh, but that's what she would really have liked to do, do i said well you know sooner or later you're going to get to do what you want to do instead of what you have to do yeah and she said i know but 
at the same time, she's like, yeah, someday I'll get to do that. Well, Hannah was very excited. It was more important than those um, pencils, pencils she yeah. wanted. So that shows. Yeah. That shows. Anyway, it's it's a really pretty, pretty blue coat. Um, a pale, nice blue. But she I, she didn't tell me this time. But I mean, if she had a if she had looked it up, but um, when um, when we were looking at it, she said she thought it was from the sixties, the coat that ah. she got. So, and I didn't ask her if she, you know, if if, if, it's, she, if, if she it had, was the sixties, yeah. I have seen people do that, Juanita. Um, in fact, I, when I was first weaving, <laughs> I bought a couple of sweaters, and the uh, I couldn't find any wool sweaters where the wool was soft enough that I wanted to use it. But I found some cotton sweaters, and I took them apart and unraveled them, and um, and I, I <laughs> oh dear, I never did do anything with those they ended up uh i used the yarn you know like in projects and stuff but i never did actually go ahead and re you know reuse it for a for a weaving project which was what i'd planned i did crochet um into a couple of uh what do you call those things um oh hot pads for the kitchen but um anyway <laughs> julie i'm sorry that 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 the vertigo is so bad today hon i i wish it, it would go away for you um i don't know if any of you are familiar but you should look up cat wise K-A-T-W-I-S-E on Etsy. Now you'll have to look at her sold pages because there's never, when she when she does a listing, her coats go so fast, it's unreal. Um, she uses old wool sweaters from thrift stores and she buys them by the bag full and her friends buy them for her and whatnot, but she cuts them up and makes the most amazing sweater coats. Um, and she's been doing it for a while. And her her coats are just really fabulous. They're, they're I need to have really you awesome. That. that sounds oh, yeah, like it's, something you'd like to see. K K A T W I S E. Okay, um, I need to write that down. And she actually lives near where my sister lives. And actually, she lives in a house that Jeff and I talked about looking at back, back, back. And um, we didn't go ahead and look at it, but uh, she has painted this house. Um, and this is on Etsy? Well, she's got an Etsy site, yeah. Um, I actually follow her on um, Facebook. And, and, um, so if I just put it in cat wise, it'll come up? Oh, yeah. If you put in cat wise, it should come up. Now, okay. uh, she has a lot of people who have taken her idea and are doing it, too. But um, if you put in cat wise, you'll get it. Uh, right. She is she's real. It's really interesting what she does with us with an old sweater. Um, she's she's uh, a very definite. Um, Oh, let's see what she'll, she, she, ha, she has a gypsy heart, I guess is what you might want to call it. She, she's, she's fun. She has fun art. Well, I'm going to look at her later today. There you go. Catwise, um, Lori just put up a link. Thank you, Lori. Um, huge blanket, huge hugs. Hi, Lala. 
Hi, Lori. We're glad you're here. Um, I would love one of these coats, but I know I would never wear it. You know what I'm saying? It, it's, they're absolutely gorgeous pieces of, of wearable art, honestly. But now I have worn some pretty odd clothing, but that they're just something that I know now I wouldn't wear. My, uh, my, um, my style has changed considerably as far as. Yeah, my style is comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> Back when I was teaching sewing classes, I wore some pretty strange pieces. Okay. Yep. Now I gotta have some. It doesn't matter. Let me see. Well, and you're gonna glue it down. So. Oh well, I just meant my knot was. Oh, I see. Not right at the thing. It's all decorative anyway. It doesn't matter, but. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm sure which lawyer you're speaking to. You can call me Montana if you wish. We're just going to make blanket hellos to everybody. That's what we'll do. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Okay. All the Lorries, all the Janices. <laughs> there you go. Uh huh. I wonder if I've we got don't a have sharpener. Melissa's yet. We no, have there's no Melissa's. Uh huh. Um, Jeff must be getting ready to quit. <laughs> the poor boy. He's been out there. He's sunburned. Um. He's uh, he's putting out the garbage as can, so I that's why I think he's getting ready to quit. Oh, I didn't know you liked Lala better. I will gladly call you Lala from now on if you like it better. Oh, I, like I will try to like remember. <laughs> I will try to remember. Okay, so this one already has a piece of thread in it, and we are not going to waste that piece of thread. So we will try that needle and see if that needle works better. There you go. But first we will sew up that piece of thread. Oh, goodness, Jacqueline. I'm dealing with that, too. Sinus allergy, um, pressure, Face headache. Stuff. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's not good. I, I knew it was bothering me, but I didn't realize how much until I went to the chiropractor yesterday and I laid down on that table and my face was in that thing and I was like, oh man, that hurts. <laughs> oh no. Oh. I said, I think you need to work on my sinuses too because they're hurting right now on this table. She said, yep, that's a sure sign. <laughs> uh-huh. Um, and, and was she able to do something for him? Yeah. The, um, it's not as bad today as it was yesterday. So. It was yesterday. Well, that works. But, um, and I, I have no idea what I'm doing here. I'm just doing whatever comes to mind as I go. Well, that's exactly what I'm doing. No. This piece of thread is, is so yeah. short that I'm, I'm just going to sew it up through there and then tie it together as a, as a little decoration-y thing. But then I'm going to have to have another piece. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm doing. I'm just, you know, whatever. Whatever the piece says it wants. That's that's kind of what I'm doing. There we go. It said it wanted a little stitch right there and it wants a little stitch up here. So but this the second little stitch is going to be this brown thread. So it's gonna be have two colors in it. All we right. travel in Hello. packs. The Lori, the Lori says she travels in packs. Now we got a Laura and some Lorries. Uh huh. And a Lala. A Lala, two Lorries, and a Laura. We're we got lots of L's today. Well, Linda's here too. <laughs> you know, and some days we have lots of Susie's, but I think Susan is the only one that's here. Yeah. I may be wrong. Well, if someone else is here besides her, I missed them. So if you are, 
Hello. <laughs> we didn't miss you on purpose. This uh, is really relaxing. <laughs> Laura says, hello and goodbye. My little man is ready. Waiting on him. Wanted to say hi. Ah. Well, thanks for okay. coming in and saying hi. Yeah, we're glad you came by. Glad you okay, got your go. to have fun with. Mm -hmm. Oh, I want to start from the top because I want to tie that in a knot again. So. I have to tell you, I had a dream last night about this. Ooh. I must have had some misgivings about doing this or something because I had this dream that I had all these bits and I had sewed on all of them and I was trying to find a place to use them and I couldn't find any place I liked to use them. <laughs> Uh-oh. Okay. And I was just going from book to book to book to put them in. I was, couldn't find anything. And um, and then I realized that the journals I was looking in weren't even mine. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> like it was a weird dream. So, okay. Well, and and do you think you're not going to be able to find places to put these bits? I hadn't worried about it a bit till I had that dream, or at least I didn't think <laughs> I was worried about it. <laughs> now okay. I'm a little concerned. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, here I I have I I have a a, a thought on on. One little thing. Let's see here. Lola says I can just send them to her. She'll use them. She'll use them. There you go. Okay, that's not a pic. I thought I put a little picture back into this book. Maybe I picked it up and put it somewhere else. Okay, well. All right. Well, this, this green doesn't really go with that green, but see here, I was thinking like with that bird and a bit on a tag. Yeah. Or, well, I'm sure once I get started using them, I'll find lots mm -hmm. of places to use them. See this flower? Uh -huh. This like I said, this bo this book has some very vintage green, and that's a very bright green. But let's put this little vintage bit up here with this little this. Oh, look! And the and the worm and the string are the same. Oh you no, know, that's adorable. Can, See, I love that. Okay, I need a bunch of those. <laughs> I can see yeah. me putting those, sticking those just in everywhere. Yeah. Um. The a bunch of the ones I start did before, but I was trying to do a variety because that's when I was doing that video. So. Um, I was doing multiples. I got to switch ears. Okay. Switch ears. Well, that earbud really is starting to bother my ear. Don't know why, but it is. And Lisa, I love the cross stitches on there. Thank you. Thank you, Lala. But she's, Lisa, Lisa Lala says, I loves them. She doesn't love them. She loves them. She loves them, and, but that's even and better. And so you can send them to her, so. Um, which is really good. I'm glad that she loves them. Okay. Well, my husband asked me if I had a, a journal made that I wasn't, you know, hadn't used for anything or um, that was just, you know, I didn't know what I wanted to do with it. Uh huh. He and wanted like, he wanted a gift, didn't he? Yeah. Uh huh. And I, I knew said, I, you know, I've already given away or sold or used most of my journals. I said, but I, when do you need it? I might can just make you one, you know, for this gift. And and he said, well, not till April first. I said, okay, I can make you one. <laughs> oh yeah. Mm hmm. Yep, Plenty yep. of time to do yep. that. So yeah. You could do that even um, on our on our twenty four hours thing. Yeah, our twenty four hour live stream. Yep. Mm -hmm. So uh, 
Uh, yeah. Um, Luann, um, I used to sew, and from the from the time I, I've sewn since I was four, um, and sewed clothing and all kinds of things for a long time. But when you start wearing blue jeans and t-shirts almost exclusively, you find out that you know blue jeans. I can buy blue jeans just as cheap as I can make them. But there's a lot of other things that I have sewn in my lifetime that I couldn't have afforded otherwise. Like, I can't tell you how many uh, car seat covers I have made or um, how many, well, I've recovered hmm, three or four couches, lots of dining room chairs. Yeah. You know, and that saves a ton of money if you can just, you know, sew around uh, and do the piping and stuff like that. So just throw those in and I'll start them when we get done, hon. Thank you. You um, going to get a lemon water before you yeah. crash? Okay. Of course, you know, last. Oh, that's adorable. See? See how cute that is? See, I'm already that's happy. <laughs> that's, that's, that's just. Okay, that's I'm going to make a bunch of those kind of things. Something similar to that. Because that's, that's really fun. Yeah. Um, you know, we had we had freezing, <coughs> frigid, two, 20 degree temperatures. It's, it's over 70 out there today. See, we were the opposite. It, we were 70 something yesterday. And it's, uh, it was like 36 when I came in here. I don't know what it is now, but. We were supposed to get up to 50 something. I don't know if it's going to happen or not. No, it, it was hot. Like I got back in the car and it was, it was hot. So the other thing is, is that you can use little pieces of thread and, and create little, um, okay. I got this little piece. I'm going to make, I'm going to tie it in there. So it's, So you you actually get to use little things that you don't think you're going to use. I saved it. Why did I save it? Well, because I must have decided I was going to use it. Must have. So. Thanks, Julie. I didn't have a knot in that. And I just pulled it right through. Because I like the knots and I've been having knots in everything. <laughs> well, that's all right because the knots the knots are um, are okay when you're not doing a, a darning of a sock. That's right. Oh, little pieces of ribbon. I had the piece of ribbon up there, too. That would be... Oh, that's a good idea, yeah. Um, I had a, where I cut the ends off, and I, I can't remember what I was doing that I cut the ends off of that piece of black ribbon, but um, where's it at? There it is, right there. Okay, let's do this and that and this piece of black ribbon. There we go. Yep. Oh, so that's going to be so short. Making faux bow. Making a faux bow. Yep, there you go. Um, I will tell you, my son didn't have store-bought clothes, uh, mm, probably other than what his grandmother, just mother, bought clothes. She she thought he needed 500 million things, but most of what she bought, he wouldn't wear. It was very interesting. Um, but uh, somewhere, 
Oh, probably around the third grade. I I started buying more clothes for him. Um, he was in the fourth grade when we moved to Nebraska, and I said, "Hun, I'm sorry, but you're going to have to learn to wear jeans and long pants." Um, he said, "Why?" I said, "Well, because Nebraska's a little cold, and um, you're going to really have to learn to wear long pants." Because he said, "But mom, the gym teacher wears shorts to work every day. We're, you know," and I'm like, <laughs> "Yeah, but this is this is Alabama." <laughs> Sometimes it's hard yeah. having smart kids, isn't it? Yeah, I, I'm like, mm-hmm. Yeah, this, this is Alabama, sweetie, and in Alabama, it's a little warmer in the daytime. And yes, I realize it's chilly when you go to school, but it gets warmer as the day progresses. And he said, "Well, okay, if I have to learn to wear long pants, I'm like, yep, yeah, I'm afraid you're going to have to learn to wear long pants." <laughs> Julie's hungry too, but too lazy to get up. <laughs> I'm staying hungry, okay? Mm, too funny. Oops, that tore that piece, but just fine. Um, a lot of this book paper that's in this this particular little envelope is uh, very, very fragile. So I need to sew carefully. Thank you, Janet. Yes, ma'am. Thank you very much. Okay. I'm happy. This is cute. Uh-oh. Come on. You got to go back through there one more time. There you go. Oh, there we go. Oh, I love that. And that, you know, it's just, it's just something. Just now, something. it's... It's little thing could have something. Ooh, where are they? These are probably too big because I, you know, I was I was cutting out big stuff yesterday. No, it probably wouldn't be too big. Ta-da, like that. Oh, yes, that's very cute. Or maybe like that. I like that a little better. Maybe a little more tilted. Or maybe a little tiny embossed one, or even a little, um, um, little word label, the word on there. Yep, 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 yep. Hi, Violet. Hi, Violet. Her, her internet went out. Oh, dear. That's well, frustrating. I will tell you that what we were doing was talking about darning socks because I darned my sock right before I got on with Lisa. And so um I have now promised I would make a sock, a darning sock video. So I guess that's what I will think about doing this weekend. I should have got out like several needles and had different colors on them. So that, yes. Mm -hmm. So I think I will. Hi, Lisa. We're glad you're here. Hello, Lisa. Supposed to be 55 degrees on Sunday. Well, like I was telling Lisa, um, Lisa, it was it's over 70 here. Oh my goodness. Okay, why did you move? What caused you to move? Hmm, Are you weird. okay? Yeah. Um, my monitor shifted forwards and my um, mouse slid off the 
little ledge. I uh, I didn't think I caught anything. So, anyways, I think that needs to be some brighter color, like red. Don't you? Oh, but not that red. That red's awful. Maybe. We're going to have to do something with that little piece of yarn, too. This red would probably be better. Okay. And I got a green thread, and I had to take this. Two of them wouldn't go through, so I just have a bit to sew on to something. <laughs> something. Okay, there you go. Juanita's going are on pom-pom. Here we go. What did you say, hon? I'm sorry. I said I'm most just... of my needles are bigger than what I really want to use for this. For this. Or they have such all eye on them. I don't know what I can get through them. I need a um, I need I need to stick a needle threader in here. I have one, but I can never find it when I'm wanting to use it. Well, you know, I have one somewhere, and I don't remember exactly where I've put it. It's probably over there with my really good scissors, though. Yeah. If I if I went over there to get it, I I probably could get it. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Well, I don't know where my needle threader is, but I have a floss threader and that'll work. Um, with these big eyed needles, um, also a piece of, um, a little short piece of doubled over um, wax linen will also work. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Because the wax linen, both ends will go through pretty easy. And and I'll show you that, guys, in just a second. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Um, okay, I like this one. It's got... A little bit of tea bag and a little bit of cardstock and a little tiny book paper edge. You know, I should use actual some book paper. Yeah. I don't like that too. Okay. What did I just drop on the floor? Oh, one of those plastic things. All right, let me show you what I'm talking about. Um, okay. That's a heavier piece. Let's get this big piece. Right here. Come on, I know there's a needle in there. Well, that's a big needle. We don't want that big thing. Um, my chiropractor told Hannah when she was having a vertigo issue one day that she needed to go look up the Epley maneuver and try it and that she might need help, you know, somebody to help her do it, but that it would really make a big difference. And after her adjustment, she felt better and we hadn't thought about it since until just now when I saw what Susan said. <laughs> Okay, this is what I'm talking about, guys, is that this wax linen is skinny and stiff. So if you take a piece and you got a loop like that, um, buttonhole twist or something like that will work too because this will go through your needle pretty easy normally. <clears throat> Just because I said that, it doesn't want to go through the needle. And what I'm doing is I'm putting both of the, the cut ends through the needle. This may be one of those needles that's full of wax, too. There we go. Um, 
Okay, and so this thread acts like a floss threader. So here's a loop. Here's my little ends of my thing. And I just put this bigger thread through there, through the loop. And pull. And all this, this needle is actually too small, I guess. Shoot. I thought I was going to show you. It's, there we go. So that's what I was trying to say, is that sometimes another thread will work. Sometimes even sewing thread will pull a bigger thread through for you. Hannah came in here looking for a felting needle. She found a, some little moth places on that coat and she wants to coat. felt them. She had happened to have the right color of wool, but then she couldn't find her felting needles. I'm like, well, I don't know where mine are either. <laughs> oh no. Oh dear. That's not good. Okay. So she's gonna go see if she can figure out where she put hers. Cause I have no clue where mine are. All my felting stuff is together. I know that much. I was going to say, I have no clue where mine are. I mean, that, that, that would be asking way too much of my brain cells to know where that is. <laughs> oh, I guess I want to not. So, um, Luann, is she learning to sew to sew for her kids? I I think that's what she said. So that um, so that because her kids are are not, she's having trouble finding clothes to fit. Yeah. I think that's cool. I mean, I always had more clothes than anybody else at school because mama sewed a bunch and I sewed a bunch. And so, you know, I, I had all kinds of things that I might, I wouldn't have had because we couldn't afford them. Right. Okay. Yeah, you can't leave the four-year-old out. Everybody has to. Yeah. Got to have some um, the fun stuff. Okay. Well, that's interesting. I'm not sure if I like it or not. I do. Now, I started what, to do it in cream, and then I thought, well, then it wouldn't show. Yep. Mm -hmm. And what is and that? Is that like a piece of fabric or something on top? It is. Um, it's the seam from this lacy shirt. Cool. I just cut off the, a bit from the seam and, <laughs> you know, the parts you're not going to use for anything else. Uh-huh. Um, Jacqueline, if... Um, no, that's not Jacqueline. Luann? That, that's Juanita. Right? Oh, I thought you were talking. Are you talking a note spinner or she spins? Yes. Note spin. Okay. No. That's note spinner is Luann. She spins Luann. Is, yes. is Juanita. Yeah. Sorry, Luann. Um, one of the um, things that I will tell you is that if you, if you start using the same pattern over and over again, um, some really inexpensive interfacing is, is much nicer than tracing paper because uh, the, the patterns will last longer. I actually have pattern paper from um, a company that they used to call Quick Sew. And I have a, a, a whole roll of this big, it's, it's basically cheap interfacing. But it doesn't, the patterns 
last. Like the, the the pajamas that my mother makes me, I have. She's actually used. I've had to replace that pattern a couple of times because she tends to cut into it every once in a while. But uh, because tissue paper tears where you put the pins in, the that uh, pattern paper or some lightweight interfacing doesn't, and it's really nice for making patterns out of. <laughs> well, I would have your address that way, Luann. So it would it would definitely make it help. <laughs> you could email me, give me your address. That would work. <laughs> She's trying to take all these things I'm not liking off my hands. I see. Okay. Gesundheit. I found Jeffrey. Um, you didn't find uh, it? All right. Give me a minute and I'll see if I can look. I found Jeffrey uh, some, what do you call those things? The things, the, these things readers today and he he has a very specific kind he likes um santa claus type glasses so um and we haven't been able to find them inexpensively because most of the ones he really likes are really kind of pricey so today I, I managed to find some that um he really likes so that was a a big bonus of going out um, uh, he, he's actually going to go back to the store and probably see if he can find some more. Because, uh, he likes the ones I got him. Self-addressed stamped envelope. There you go. Uh huh. Okay. I would kind of like that. Oh, I have an idea. I have an idea. I have an idea. You guys, um, you guys know that um, I have ideas all the time. It doesn't mean that they're any good. It's just that I have an idea. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. I wish I had this this particular yarn in a whole bunch of different colors, but I only have this one, and it's just a little piece I have left. So, but I really like it. It's really cool yarn. It's kind of like chenille. but not. It's it's different. So, okay. That tore straight? No. Oh. Um, it all depends on the grain, Julie. Um, you know, different, the, the grain of a piece of paper makes a difference as to whether or not it's, it tears straight or not. So, do you find them, Lisa? No. Mm. I can't find it, and she can't find hers, and she's really bummed. Well, you know, um, when she quits looking, she's liable to find it right away. Well, I hope so. Yeah, paper will usually tear straight one way, but not the other. Hi, Mary. I'm glad you came in to wave hello. Hi, Mary. I'm glad you're here.
Um, I want to get the um, the die cuts back out and emboss. We didn't hard. I didn't hardly emboss anything. I didn't yeah. get much die cut. Yeah, we definitely need to do some more of that. Mm -hmm. I, I think I need to be more organized in it is what I need is to, to get out one set of dies, a bunch of paper and, and cut that one thing and then um, go back and, and pick another set and, and do, you know, so that it's more organized and I accomplish more. <laughs> Well, that's but like a plan. Might not have been as might not have been as much fun. Yeah. <laughs> well, and I played with dyes the other day that I have I, that have never been out of their boxes. I bought them. I loved them. They hadn't been out of their boxes. So, which is silly. I don't know why. I, I agree. And I had a bunch of the same same thing. Right. I played with a bunch of mine that had never been out of their boxes. It's like. Mm -hmm. And the reason is okay. because I, I bought them, but I couldn't get to my big shot to use them. Well, so, um, I don't have that in another reason. Spot waiting. I don't have that reason because my big shot is sitting on the shelf where I can actually grab hold of it. Now, I do realize today I, I can't put all the dies back in those two boxes that I had them in. So, yeah. Um, I'm, but the big shot's also got room on the shelf above it but so i need a box that a shallow box that will fit under the big shot so that i can put some more stuff in there because i got this much room on top of the big shot that's not being used right yeah. hello who all to welcome you yes hello hello hi mary i like this one isn't that cool hi, It's all fuzzy. Oh, that's cute. Mm -hmm. But <coughs> once again, I don't see it making all of Hi, Shelly. Did you darn it on the right side, Barbara, so your witty bitty toe doesn't get rubbed? Mm-hmm. Thank you, Mary. We'll check it out. Okay, I'll get it fixed tonight, Mary. So, um, in case you guys are wondering, Saturday's the fourth Saturday, so at 5.30 in the morning, there will be a video hop starting. Yep. That doesn't mean and you have Sunday, to be up at... fourth Sunday, so Sunday there will be a live hop. Um, I think a morning <laughs> session and an evening session, if I'm thinking correctly or maybe it's well, two evening sessions with a break between them i think that's what it is what it is well and the uh, um the video hop does not mean you have to be up at 5 30 to watch it it just means that at 5 30 the Sorry. videos will go live yeah so thankfully because i won't be watching them at 5 30 even you though won't. Go live then <laughs> you won't watch that because i'm hoping to be sleeping <gasps> okay if you I say so, as good as I'd like lately, but I'm hoping to be sleeping. Okay. Okay. Trying to decide if I just want to sew on this by itself or if I want to um, put it on paper and then sew. Oh, Mary's going to try to do a. Yes. I'm sorry. Mary's going to try to do an early Saturday morning live to, um, to introduce the hop. That's awesome, Mary. Yeah.
Mary's always up early. <laughs> we can all do Mary will be up. Yeah. We, we can all be sleeping. Mary's Mary's gonna be up. What? Yep, that's right. You always I always put my stitches on the outside, Susan. You you don't want the stitches rubbing. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, yep. Hannah's are pretty. Uh, she makes them all decorative. <laughs> but nobody ever sees them because they're inside her shoes. That's true. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. She knows they're there, right? Yep. I had to have little fuzzies on this piece of fabric because you know we can't we can't have this piece of fabric on there without fuzzies. And that was one tiny little piece of fabric. Mary's keeping watch over the flock at night. There's true. Uh, Susan, it depends on the sock. Uh, that's what I said earlier. Is that um, the, I don't know what I did with my sock. What did I do with my sock? Hmm, I must have taken it to the other side of the room. Um, if it's, you know, cotton socks from the package of, of 12 cotton socks, I don't darn them either. I put them, I put them in the wastebasket. I say, oh, darn, another hole. And I put it in the rag bin, actually. But if it is my smart wool socks, then I darn them because um, they're just too little pricey. I know, I'm weird that I would have socks that cost that much money, but um, they last a long, long time. I told Lisa earlier, I've been wearing them about, oh, 16, 17 years now. My sister gave me my first pair. I still have that first pair. Um, but I think in all those years and all the different times I've bought them, I've had one pair that I got rid of, and that's because I actually wore the fabric out. So, but this was just a little hole. It's kind of an odd little hole, kind of like maybe something in my dryer or my wash machine bit it. Kind of like. Bit it? I don't bit it. Yeah, it was like it had a little hole bit out of it. <laughs> So now if I had found a screw or some such thing like that in my washer or my dryer, then I'd have known what happened, but I did not find anything like that. So But it had it had an actual little quarter inch hole bit right out of it. I swear it was just a little bite that, like a bug, bit it. So. Okay, I'm happy with that one. Oh, let's show that again. Uh-huh. Just one second. Oh, that's very cute. Oh, yes, Lynn. That would work real well. Let's see. I started to say earlier that Costco carries a really nice brand of merino wool socks for $20 for six pairs. Wow. 
We don't have a Costco, so. Um, the problem with merino wool socks is you can't put them in the wash machine and the dryer. And I am a very, very bad girl. Yeah. I put I put my socks in the wash machine and the dryer. Unless you happen to find um, Superwash. Yeah. These socks that's right what, out of Superwash, but that's what the uh, that's what the smart wool socks are. Okay. Um, they're every last pair I've ever had. I've put through the wash machine and dryer, and and so, yeah. so far have not had any issues. Well, that makes perfect sense. I just didn't yeah. realize that's what smart wool was. Yep. Oh, I. It went. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> Yes, Barbara, they would probably wash, um, if, it, if, if, um, you, if you put, if you, if you are careful and put them in the dryer, <laughs> and, and don't put them in the dryer, regular wool socks would probably last a lot longer. Um, I just know me, so that is, uh. That is really why I have the other kind. Um, well, the super wash is really soft too. Yes, and um, these and they and these last a long, long time. Now um, they have a new kind. Well, they're not actually new. I've had a, I've had several pairs the last few years. Um, I usually buy like one pair a year. They call them PhDs, and they're what do I want to say? Uh, they're kind of like a, a compression sock, but they're a little different than a compression sock. They're really comfortable. I really like them. Um, but they're padded in the toe and padded in the heel, and, you know, they're really good under my, my hiking boots. Of course, I don't have to have um, socks, wool socks like I used to have to have them because, you know, it's not as cold here. This one is too Christmassy. <laughs> it's like, oh, Tanya, why did you do that? That's kind of like, now, now <laughs> that looks like, this like Christmas. Uh-huh. Yeah. Nothing but itching. Oh, poor Linda. Yeah, I'm sorry because I really like my wool ones. Um, but I do understand there's a lot of people that can't handle wool socks. Okay, I need something. Oh, how about this little piece of map? I have a little piece of map right here. <laughs> yeah. That well, sounds good. Mm -hmm. Map's always fun. Yeah, and map with book paper. With some book edge. Uh -huh. There we go. But like I said, once again, we are not making a very big dent very fast in this uh, pile of stuff <laughs> that we have that we're supposed to be using up. That's true. It's not you getting used up as good as as we envisioned. <laughs> no, no. Thank you, Janet, dear. Uh, 
Okay. What do we want to do with this one? I think we want a bunch of cross stitchy kind of things. Okay, I want to go back across the other direction with a different color thread. What color would you suggest? Okay, well, I'm not sure on my screen. Is that red or orange? Uh, the thread is a kind of a pinky orange, and this is various colors of pink. It's, it's, a, it, it's not quite as red as it looks on screen. Do you have a creamy color? But a kind of a dark creamy color, like <clears throat> coffee with cream. Yeah, that one you just pulled up. Yeah, maybe that one. But what did it look like? Like, do you like that or not? I don't know. I don't know. This maybe, is white. Yeah, that just isn't quite the. Maybe something really dark red. I, oh, I like that. All right, we'll do that. But Brittany said blue after you, we all decided without looking up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Jan, can you see Janet's comment? My playback speed was lowered. They were sounding so tired. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Uh, well, we are tired, but I don't know if we're that tired. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Too, oh, that's too funny. funny. That's funny. Mm. I can't remember who video. Okay, it was it's the second time I had watched the video. Um, and I decided to turn the speed up because I wanted to see the process more. And I can't remember who it was, but it was so that the volume, the sound was so funny that I I was just laughing and laughing and laughing. I finally had to turn the sound off to watch the video speed it up, but it was it was just yeah, it was just so funny to listen to whoever it was. Yeah, I've listened to a few things. I've watched a few videos like that where I tell I just mute it and watch, you know, and mm -hmm. watch it fast. Because I really want to see what they're doing, but I don't have enough time to just, you know. Get, watch. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it sounded like they had one too many. <laughs> oh, damn it. Too funny. Oh. That, Barbara says, that's if you need help going to sleep. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Okay, Barbara says, one sock down. Now I've got to get something to eat. <laughs> Poor Barbara. One sock and she's wore out. <laughs> mm. I used to do baskets of dad's socks. Mom paid pretty well for socks. I think I got 50 cents per sock that I darned. That's pretty good. Yeah, it was good back then. Mm -hmm. Yep. Well, and Stephanie would have been too young. Um, by the time Stephanie was coming up, cotton socks were a lot more common, and you could buy solid, dark colored so cotton socks that Dad could wear. Um, so Mom didn't darn, you know, we didn't have to darn them as much. It wasn't such a, a crucial thing. Um, right. Lisa should have been old enough to darn socks, but um, back then, Lisa, Lisa, Lisa's motor skills were not the best. She, you know, has, I mean, she knits beautifully and things like that now, but um, as far as stitching something like darning a sock, she wasn't. Wasn't ready to do that. No, no, no. Yeah. Okay. So, are all, uh, you have two sisters? Yep. Mm -hmm. Are they both younger than you? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Lisa's about three years younger than I am, and Stephanie's about five years younger. Okay. Well, I'm the oldest in my family, too, but I don't know why I had in my head one of your sisters was older and the other one was younger. 
Nope. Nope. I'm the old lady. You're the old lady. Well, I'm yeah, the old lady I'm in my old. family. The others are trying to catch up, though. Yeah. They're getting old, too. I look at pictures and I think, good grief, y'all are getting old. <laughs> getting old, yeah. Mm -hmm. What's up with well, you? Last time I saw Stephanie, she she looked so much older than I, you know, it's like her hair is all gray. <laughs> like, why, is my baby, why is my baby scissors hair all gray? Yeah, yeah. Of course, my kids' hairs are getting gray, too. So it's like, oh, no. Okay, that with the map is cool. I like it. Mm -hmm. Just just scribbly stitches. This is just slow stitching on little pieces. That's what we're doing. Mm -hmm. Black, brown, navy blue, charcoal, gray, gray, and argyle. I missed why Juanita was saying that. I don't know, but I want to know now. I have an inquiring mind. I'm going to have to go back and look. Yeah, me too. I don't see it. Do you see it? No. Because because Argyle socks was one of the things that dad that we could get for dad. That was, you know, back 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 in the day, um, sock colors her sock colors her dad wore. There you go. Um The thing of it was with my dad and getting cotton socks was that, for the most part, you could not buy solid color cotton socks, not in dark colors. They they had work socks, um, but they would be white. So that's why that's why we hunted socks. Oh, we, mom was always on the hunt for socks. I can remember. Her hunting socks so many times. I think we're gonna do another one of those. Um, I really liked this stuff on there. I thought it was kind of cool. So I think we'll do another one of those. Susan said her, her dad wore monkey socks. See, and dad couldn't wear those white with argyle stitching socks for her dad. I have no idea what color socks my dad wore. I think they were brown or black, but. Um, okay, Linda, bye bye. Bye, Linda. Thank you for coming in to visit. Well, and after Dad retired, he wore white socks a lot. Um, yeah. You know, it was it was before he retired when he was wearing a a suit all the time that the we had he had so we had, mom had so much trouble. This yeah. It's just well, I know my dad wore you know he wore suits to work all the time and um and he wore black shoes. I know that, but. Um, and my dad, my dad also bought a new suit every year. He bought one new suit every year. Um, because, you know, after a time they start to wear out. So every year he would buy one new suit and one year he would buy a lightweight suit and the next year he would buy a heavier suit and that would keep him in suits so that they could go to the that's pretty smart. Cleaners. The cleaners. Well, my um, my dad was so short. My mom had a, had to remake all his suits. Oh. Rarely made one from scratch, but she completely, you know, altered them. Altered them. Mm -hmm. Because the fabric to make a suit that my daddy would like, um, the fabric was expensive. Oh, Yeah. Yeah. And so she would buy, they would buy suits from, I think, pennies. And then he, and, uh, she would alter them to fit him. 
Okay, I added that. some blue to this one. Oh, yeah, that's cute. Uh-huh. Th that's for Brittany. Uh-huh. Five big feet boys and my dad. Only way to keep dad in socks was using sock monkey ones. Because the boys were not going <laughs> to They wouldn't wear. They wouldn't take his socks. Yeah, there you go. Uh, he was a smart guy, too. Having his own uh -huh. socks was way more important than whether they were stylish or not. <laughs> there you go. I, I also got paid to uh, iron shirts. Mom hated to iron shirts, so I got paid to iron shirts. And his hankies. I ironed his hankies. So didn't get paid very much to iron hankies, but uh, I got paid to iron hankies. Even when Jeff was working, I didn't mind ironing shirts um, as long as they're cotton. I do not. Oh, I hate poly cotton shirts. I'm trying to iron them. They are just such a pain to iron, and you cannot get them to come out of the dryer nicely. Um, Jeff's mother would buy him shirts. I, oh, I hated the shirts she would buy him, and he didn't like them either, so he didn't wear them very often, but... Um, just when he would go visit? Well, no, he didn't even wear them then because they were they were fancy work shirts. Oh, yeah. Um, now, the last few years when we were in South Dakota, he could wear those knit shirts with the <coughs> collars and the buttons, the two buttons or three buttons on the front. Yeah. Um, uh, Henley shirts or polo shirts? Yeah, like a polo shirt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He, because, I heard we're glad you're here. Those last few years, he actually wore jeans to work because a lot of the time, not all the time, because he was working out in the field and stuff. So, you know, you, you don't go to a, a cow lot in, in good pants. <laughs> no, that would not be good. So, I mean, he would if, if there was something special, but usually it was, uh, it was, you know, jeans and okay, come on now. I can't tie a knot tonight. My plastic thumbnail is causing issues. I finally got glue to glue it on. Now it doesn't want to grab hold of my needle and stuff. I thought it was so funny. Go to four stores. They all have, three have plastic fingernails, but only one has glue, and it doesn't have any plastic fingernails. I'm like, good. <laughs> okay. I like that one. Oops, white shirts with black ties. Yep, yeah, dad wore said, white shirts. Up there, she says, I'll just show it. Okay. She says, my dad worked in offices. He had to wear black suits with white ties and black ties. And she meant white shirts and black ties. Black, uh -huh. dress, black tie shoes were also required. She got paid to iron, too. <laughs> Ooh, yep. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. Mm -hmm. Dad wore white, shirt, white shirts. Towards the very end, colored shirt, light colored shirts were coming in, and he... Um, he had a few really light blue ones, um, that would go, cause dad could wear blue and brown, um, suits. His suits did not have to be black or a specific color. Um, and towards the very end, he wore, um, he wore the, like, like a light blue shirt. Puff sleeves. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hi, Gertie. Everything in the house for fun. Well, Susan, I'll bet you my mama would have loved to have had you come visit. She probably would have loved to have had you come visit. Okay. That my mother told me that she hated ironing clothes she had to iron a lot of clothes but she was always excited when she got to iron the sheets and the curtains 
because when she was ironing sheets and curtains, she didn't have to think about it. She could just daydream. <laughs> oh, okay. Like, oh. So that's where Hannah got it. I see. Um, for some reason, this says it needs a number in the middle of it. I agree. Mm -hmm. And I don't think I have any big numbers. Oh, there's a big number right there. I have a little number, but I need a big number. Okay. There we go. So I got some big numbers right here. <laughs> oh, there you go. Use them. Uh-huh. See? There we go. Now I have to sew it. But I have to put thread in it. I want a different color thread than that, though. I'm tired of this color. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, I have a ton of this color. Let's get that out. And it looks like it's cut up into tiny little pieces. Uh -huh. Okay. Why he cut it, in, unless it came in the kit cut like this, I don't know, because that is definitely cut into little pieces. Well, some kits come that way, and, with them cut to a size to just stick in your needle, and they assume you don't want them to be very big. Right. Um, that, that may have been it. That may have been what the deal was. Do the number in thread. Oh, that would that would require um, skill. <laughs> <laughs> that that's that's not something I have. Um, Ooh. Uh oh. No no no. There's no poking. Well, you didn't tell me soon enough. Oh, I'm sorry. It's all so, right. I'm gonna survive. We will. Okay, as long as you promise. What's everybody having for dinner? What are you having for dinner? Um, cabbage, carrots, onions, all fried with bacon. Ooh, sounds yummy. Um, our friends gave us a cabbage because um, her cousin has been bringing her too many cabbages. And um, it's a really pretty, nice, fresh-grown Florida cabbage. Yum. And I didn't have any carrots, but Jeffrey went yesterday to the grocery store and bought me carrots. So, because um, I like carrots with my cabbage. So, and I decided yeah. I would just fry it with um, some, some bacon. In my big fancy um, wok skillet thing. Skill, what's that? <laughs> oh, there you go. Mm -hmm. Susan's going to check on the coffee. Oh. Nobody around here makes coffee in the afternoon because Tanya doesn't drink coffee. She's weird. And Jeff only drinks it in the mornings. I don't drink coffee either. I need to write that down for my fibs page about you. I've been trying to think. I need to, I need more information about you. <laughs> but Tanya doesn't drink coffee. That's an important thing to know. Yeah, Tanya doesn't drink coffee. She's not allowed to drink anything with bubbles. I remember that's that. Weird, that's another weird thing about me. But not being allowed and choosing not to is two different things, see? Yes, that's true. Hey, write it down because I need to do that page. I've been oh, the tea on. fairy has come to visit me. Oh, the tea fairy. Oh, you're going to go to Ollie's? Okay, hun, um, since you couldn't get your milk yesterday, um, you might want to get milk, but will you also get sour cream? Okay, do you need masks? Okay, because there's some in the laundry room. 
Have fun at Ollie's. Hey, Jeffrey. Okay. I was trying to see what that says. Don't hand three-year-olds knives and let them cook, but there's a point at which you have to let them learn. That's right, Susan. Yeah. Oh, Mindy, yep. Kevin, stir-fried chicken. I'm trying to remember who it was got on to me because I gave Ethan a, a fork that actually had sharp tines on it to eat with when he was oh like my. two years old. And I was like, well, how are you going to learn to use a fork if it's not sharp enough to poke your food? <laughs> I, it was a small one. It fit his hand really well, you know, and he ate. He did never had any problem with that. Of course, he's my, you know, my safety police child. If um, you can find one. And so he, he's always assessing the dangers of things. And, um, <laughs> yeah. Um, thank you. Hun. And, and like I said, they're in the very, very front corner. In, like if the, if the baskets could be pushed into them. Okay. Sorry, guys. Um, the, yeah, now, Brandon, when he was tiny, uh, he helped me bake bread. And granted, you know, he was tiny. He, he sat on the counter to squash it. And he put the flour in the bread. Nice. <laughs> yeah, I put the flour in the bread machine, but it's kind of yeah. like, okay, if you don't give a kid, a sharp knife is less dangerous than a dull one. Every chef will tell you that. They get cut when the knife is dull because it doesn't go through something. That's true. I, I have a scar right here to prove it. The only time I had stitches in my life except for my C-section with the kids was right here when I cut myself with a dull knife. Dull knife, yep. Brittany, yep. tell, I, I'm sorry, I didn't tell him hi, but I'll tell him that um, he, what happened was, is I found um, readers at Ollie's today. Um, we've been having trouble finding the kind he likes. He likes the ones that look like Santa glasses. They have no frame on the top and bottom. They're just little wire, I mean, and they're tiny, and they're little wire things, and he has scratched the pair he wears all the time. And unfortunately, the kind he likes cost a lot of money. And um, we we have found some in the past, you know, at thrift stores and whatnot that he's liking. And I was in Ollie's today, and I looked over there, and they had um, readers. And I'm like, hmm. And I went over there, and I found two pairs. One pair was two ninety nine, and one pair was a dollar ninety nine. And I'm like. And they were Foster Grant readers. And I'm like, oh, i got to buy these even if, if they're not what he wants. But they are enough about what he wants that he's going to the store for them. So, craft with Gertie. I'll drink. Oh, she's going to drink co coffee. Yeah, I don't. I, I like the smell of coffee. I just don't like the taste of it. I like the smell of it, too. Um, that's. Something I'm happy that everybody else in my family drinks it because I get to smell it pretty often. But well, and not only that, um, Jeff saves me his leftovers. There so, you go. Yeah, you know, I get he, leftovers saved too, even yeah, a better asked, bonus. He asked me this morning if um, I needed coffee. I said no. I think my bottle in the refrigerator is full. I need to do some dyeing. But there's one with two pieces of paper and a little strip of fabric oh that's cute i like that see i'm not the only non-coffee drinker lisa doesn't drink coffee and a bunch of them doesn't doesn't drink coffee so oh, that's see, we're not as weird as we were always led to believe yeah when i was little i, I don't remember how old i was but you know five or six something like that ouch and um, I wanted to drink coffee. And my dad said, no, you're too young to drink coffee. And um, and so, you know, I never even asked to drink coffee again. And then when I was an adult, somebody said, do you want a cup of coffee? And I, and I was like, uh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh. 
no yep, thank yep. you <coughs> now i will amend if you put you know the the whipping cream and the chocolate and the cinnamon and stuff in it then i could drink yeah. it i can drink it that way too uh -huh, uh, that's not yes. really coffee, according to my family who all drink it black <laughs> Well, and, and that's, you know, it's really not coffee. If you put enough sugar and cream and all that fancy stuff in it, and yeah. chocolate, yeah, and chocolate too. I like chocolate caramel, you know, together. Yeah. But, but anyway, and I, I okay. have once in a while had something like that and sweeten it with stevia, but I would rather have my chai tea. Ooh, yeah, that's pretty. I like it. I like that one. I like that one. Um, you know, I had a chai tea that I just loved, and not all chai tea is the same. That is and true. I haven't, I haven't been able to buy that one again. It's just, I don't know where it's at, you know, why they took it off the market, but it was a Lipton chai tea. Uh-huh. And I don't like the, um, there's, um, what's a brand that I use so much of the Big Low. Yeah. I don't like their I chai like tea at all. I like the chai tea that's the, it's the same brand as the passion tea I buy. It's T-Z-A-O. Uh-huh. And their chai tea is, is really good. Okay. But I, you know, to... I put some stevia and some um, heavy whipping cream in it when I, when I drink it. When you so. drink it? Okay. Um, hi, Barbara and Sherry. And thank you. Hi, Sherry. Hi, Barbara. Guys, I liked that one, too. Um, I'm going to have to excuse myself for just a minute. I'll be oh, right yeah. back, okay? We'll be here. You promise? Yep. Lord dwelling in the creek don't rise. <laughs> that was my grandma. My grandma always used that saying. And um, I always think of her when I say it. So I like to use it for that reason. Especially, I don't know, lately I'm feeling nostalgic, I guess. Thinking about my my grandparents and my dad, whom I've you know lost all of them. And what a blessing they were in my life. And how lucky I was to have the, the ones I had. I am definitely going to have to move my other chair over here for our 24-hour thing. Yeah. Yeah, uh, you need a good chair. Because, um, well, of course, these chairs are pretty good, but they... You know, I, can, I sit on one to make beads, and then I sit on this one, and they're both the same. And after a while, this starts to wear me out. The glasses you get from supermarket dollar stores are only magnifiers. They're not proper glasses. And they strain your eyes, so when you get glasses, they're going to be stronger lenses. Well, um, Gertie, the thing of it is, these are readers, um, and uh, they are definitely just magnifiers. They're just magnifiers for um, 
for close-up work. Ah, oh, this is very quiet. Sorry, I'm so sorry. quiet. Well, I talked while you were gone, and so when you came back, I'm letting you have it. Brittany says, almost time for me to go check out her Dollar Tree. Oh, okay. What are you going to get, Brittany? Well, I know she was looking for one of those art spinner things. Uh -huh. Yeah, she said the art spinner thing. And, she said um, I don't remember. Yeah, me either. Of course, I wasn't, you know, I'm not sure I was, I'm paying attention to everything lately. Oh, this is one of my favorite little pieces of paper. It's got little threads in it where it was in the middle of the signature. Oh, uh, yeah, I like those too. <laughs> I should just go get my good scissors got these threads i'm getting tired of just <laughs> oh yeah that's why I that's why i keep two small pairs i like these for cutting paper better than these but these cut thread much better yeah well i need a little pair that's just to cut thread with so i don't have to um get my sewing scissors every time but that's um i have paper well, scissors and then i have sewing scissors i don't have little thread scissors <laughs> little thread scissors and see i have uh, several pairs of little thread scissors because um I, I keep of course i keep gingers over at the sewing machine and i have several pairs of them that's what jeff cut the credit card in half with when before we got married well it's um, a good thing it was before you got married and you got him straightened out oh well he got straightened out because i sent him all the way to town to buy a new pair <laughs> and when he found out how much they cost, the man now brings a piece of fabric to me and says, what scissors can I cut this fabric with? <laughs> and I'm like, um, let me get you a pair. He, he, he learned real fast. That little tiny itty bitty pair of scissors at that time was like $25, $26. And we didn't have $26. Yeah. So it was like, Oh, my goodness. And I had to have a new pair because I use, I use those every day. The reason I have two pair of them is because <clears throat> I dropped a pair and um, split the tip off. Um, they hit the tile floor, and I, they, it broke the tip of a pair off. Ooh. So... I have a second pair. Yeah. Well, I have two pair of the Gingers, but they're not the expensive ones. They're the cheaper ones that are black and they're... The, well, the, they have the plastic handle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I've had these for probably 20 yep. years. Yep. And they, they cut real nice and they're lighter they weight. Do. And I yep. like them really well. Mom has the the ones that are all metal and they are heavy. Yeah, they are. So, however, I if you cut but these were cheaper and they were lighter. <laughs> yeah. If you if you're cutting a lot of fabric for patterns and the likes of that, the heavier scissors make actually are nicer for like using all day long kind of thing. Yeah, I'm sure that's um, true. And I know she said when she when she did some upholstery, she said you you got to have the good scissors for that. Yeah. Um, and um, but, I haven't done, you know, I don't do near as much sewing as my mom sewed all the time. She sewed a lot of my clothes. She sewed, you know, remade daddy's suits. She she was kind of like you. She reupholstered um, a five piece sectional for our mm -hmm. living room. She reupholstered yep. seats for my friend's, our friend's antique car. Um, all with the same sewing machine she sewed daddy's suits with. And <laughs> yep. she still yep. got it. It's the only sewing machine she's ever had. And I think it was secondhand when she got it. Um, yeah. The, the, I have several pairs. I have a, 
a couple pairs of those lighter weight ones. And I have, and partially I had those because um, <clears throat> my scissors would once in a while get up and walk away when I was teaching a class. Ah. Um, yeah. Now, every time they walked away, they usually came right back with somebody crying because they had taken my scissors home. Yeah. You know, it was an accident. They didn't do it on purpose. But it might take several days before that person realized they had taken my scissors home because yeah. they might not unpack their stuff right away. And um, so it was, it was one of those things where I got to the point where I just quit taking my big heavy ones to class. Well, this is heavy duty <laughs> canvas fabric. Yeah. <sighs> I've had my expensive singer shears for over 30 years. Hubby bought them when they went on sale for 26. It was just good bargain, even for the 90s. Yep. Mm -hmm. Barbara's going to go. Bye, hon. Bye, Barbara. Thanks for coming. Oh, Brittany said the paper packs and the spinner thing. And there was something else I can't remember now. Oh, the little brushes, probably. Or, um, well, if you see them, I need some of the <laughs> four stores yesterday, and I forgot to get the, something. Um, you know those little metal racks that you're supposed to, like, you cool things on, like cooling? Um, yeah, yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah. I need a couple of those. Four stores, and I forgot to look for them. Oh, dear. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I looked for some um, after I watched your um, Echo Dye. Mm -hmm. Echo Dye. Echo. Uh, now you got me saying Echo. <laughs> yep. It's, yes. Yeah. Sorry about that. I, I, it, was not an in, it was not an intentional thing to have happened. But yes. Echo anyway, Dye. After I watched your video, I went looking for some of those little racks because I thought if I already have them, when I find my pan, I'll be ready to go. Mm -hmm. And I looked <coughs> every time I went in for probably a month. And then, <coughs> excuse me, I never could find them. And then I kept forgot to look for them after that. Well, the big thing is, is that you have to get them so that they fit in your pan. And, um, I have those two smaller square ones that fit in that one pan that I used here, but I got myself a new giant pan that's longer so I can do some longer papers and Dollar Tree had some longer, narrower, instead of being little squares, they were longer and narrow. The other thing is another place to look for those is at thrift stores because all the ones I have that I have used already Oh, that's yeah. going to be cool when you stitch that on. I know. It's going to be fun, huh? Yeah. Oh, bye, Julie, hon. And Susan's back. Um, the, the, the new pan is, is, first off, it's deep, so I want to have a couple sets of those so that I can do more than one stash of paper. And yeah. then... The other thing is, is it's longer and narrower, so the racks I have already, which are square and fit just in that other pan, of course, I'm going to take the square pan with me on the trip. There you um, go. It's, it's, um, it's portable <coughs> enough that I can, in a campground over a fire, um, maybe do some paper. We'll see. I, you know, I don't know for sure. The big thing will be... Um, you know, where I can pick plants, too, because if you're staying in a park, you can't pick plants. So we'll have to just wait and see what happens. I was going to do some paper when we went to Alabama last, last, last year. Yeah, last fall. And then we had to come home. And uh, I didn't get to do it. So, yeah. Well, I'm really wanting to do it. I bought an old steamer, a steamer thing, um, electric steamer. Uh huh. That I was gonna, um, I was gonna try doing some because I'd seen somebody use one. Mm -hmm. But um, I thought I want to put the rusty stuff in there, 
and um and the vinegar will make it smell and my kids will go nuts and i and i can't i don't well i guess i could try to use that outside and plug it in outside like i was gonna do my big pan but after i saw the way you did it i thought i want one of those big roasting pans like they use for church dinners yep I know, and, and you said that, and, and you said it after I had just come from a estate sale that had those. She had, uh, like, three of them, and, and it was just after that that you mentioned it. So I'll keep my eye open. Okay. Well, I've so, seen them. You know, I've seen them over and over and over, but since I started looking for I haven't seen a one. That's the Hi, way Dana. it works. We're glad you're here. Hi, Dana. I did get your email. I will email you. I've just had two days of, of um, kind of crazy. This week has just been really weird. Which, by the guys, way, guys, thank you very much for putting up with me Tuesday. My Tuesday was, a, my Monday and Tuesday were a little odd. And I am mad at the tree guys. They did, they did make my tree awfully, awfully odd. Empty. It's naked. It, it, it's naked. Yeah, my poor tree's naked, but it's it's actually beautiful. They did a beautiful job. The tree looks so nice and so neat. He was actually unhappy because it's not even because the neighbors have chomped on it. But um, he couldn't do anything about that. That's not his fault that the, the that they've kind of deformed that size side of the um, tree. So is this tree like on the property line? No, it's on my side of the fence, but uh, it goes over to her side of the fence. Yeah. And um, it, it hangs over her carport. And... Uh, it, it needed trimmed on her side, and she gave Jeff permission for the guys to um, to go on her property, which was, you know, it, they had to have permission to do that. They weren't allowed to do it without her permission. So she did give her permission, and they went over there and trimmed, but they have hacked at that tree enough that uh, it... Um, it it's not it's not it's a little lopsided is the deal so but it still looks m very beautiful it's beautiful it's it's a beautiful tree so where can i find a video of what you're talking about the pans and racks uh, okay guys i let me see if i can get you that information there It arrived. Okay. It arrived. Um, Luann, can you message me um, either on Facebook or on an email? What I are we looking it... for? I can do it if you'll tell me what we were looking for. Hannah was talking to me, so I missed you. Oh, okay. Um, she wants the video of the um, echo dying. Okay. Eco dying. Eco dying. When you did that? Well, it was in the fall of last okay. year. Well, that'll help me find it. Okay. Except um, I'm having hi, trouble Kathy. on YouTube. What? I'm having trouble on YouTube. Oh, really? It's like my... Um, I'm going to... I went to my channel to get your channel. Then I went to your channel and it, it's nothing's coming up. What? That's weird. And so I went back and clicked on my channel and nothing's coming up. So, um, I may not be able to do it. Okay. Luann, if, if you will either message me over on Facebook or in my, on my channel, which is Tanya McGuire, if you will send me an email, I will get you a link to that video. It's it's called Eco Dying. Um, and I did it outdoors. I used um, 
um, what do you want to call it? I used um, what's called a rocket stove. It's like four cinder blocks and a fire to do it uh, just because that's what I wanted to do. I really wanted the, the, the to try out the, the cinder block stove. It works real well. I can, I can boil stuff real good on that cinder block stove with very little wood. So, sorry that I couldn't find it for you. That, that's really strange. I, I don't know if I'm using all my bandwidth all right here for now. Or, anyway, bandwidth that's what or... I did with it. <gasps> it came out pretty. So, I think that's good. Oh, Susan. <laughs> oh, dear. It looks like they had a bad day, too. It um, does. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, they did a beautiful job on all the trees. They did a beautiful job taking the the, the big tree down that we had to have taken down. Um, there was no damage to my fence, my yard, or anything else um, in all that they had to do. So that was you know, that's a, kind of amazing because some of where they had to cut was very close to fence lines. My big camphor tree is gorgeous. This tree, Lisa, first off, it has like four trees. It comes up and it's about as big around as like a six foot round table. So it's a good wow. six foot across in the bottom. Then it has four um, four trunks that come out of it. And um, thank you, Linda. And then it goes up with four trees, basically. So it's a huge tree. And they, the county figures it's about 300 years old. So the neighbors so cool. should not have been should not have been hacking at it in the first place. But that's yeah. her kind of thing. And um, well, she's the one that's got the leaf blower out all the time, isn't she? Yep. Yes. Uh huh. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um. And there, that went after they were cutting in the tree, and I have, you know, and I went outside for a few minutes in the middle of our live stream. And realized that they had left, there were leaves on her roof. <laughs> and I said to the boss, I said, when you guys get done, you have got to sweep off her roof and you've got to clean up her driveway. I said, you cannot leave a leaf on her driveway. And boy, those guys, they, they really cleaned up. They cleaned up over here too, but they made sure that uh, she wasn't going to get upset. <laughs> yeah. They, they, they cleaned up real good. But. Uh, it looks beautiful. It's just very open because they needed to clean out a bunch of dead stuff and things like that. So yeah, that's so it's the a link. Can thing. It, <laughs> um, Lala got the link to link to Tanya's channel. And I did a couple of videos on, on the echo dying. I, um, I did an actual video outside when I was dying. And then I did um, like a flip of all the papers. So, um, but I'm going to do some more papers. And actually, I kind of I have a plan. You know those cool leaves I did Tuesday? Yeah. I want to do... Um, a cover for some of those echo dyed papers. Oh, nice. And and make like a leaf um or nature type journal with those echo dyed papers and a, and the leaves all on the front of the cover. So that's that's in the in the plan list, but it'd probably be um 
Lala says the link is in the chat above to to that that um, video. Cool. Thank you. So, thank Lala. you. But we also have, I also have a whole bunch of leaves that we sprayed. We, 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 when you were used making leaf papers, I made a bunch of leaf papers with my um, spray inks and stuff. Right. And I have those too, but I think that they deserve a different journal. You know, yeah. the, they're, they're not the same kind of. Thing. They they kind of need to have it. Both have their own. I agree because they're a different look. They're a totally different look. So I'm probably going to do a couple of journals. Hopefully. Someday, but not a, right not right now due to the fact that I have too many other things to do to get ready to go. Yeah. However, the tax man says he's supposed to be done with our taxes already. Yay. Yeah, yay. <laughs> I'm going to <laughs> owe money, which I, you know, don't like, but won't be too bad because I prepaid a bunch. But he said, I don't think we quite estimated high enough. I'm going, oh, great. Yeah. This one. He called to find out if I had turned 65 this year. Oh. And I said, no, why? And he said, well, at 65, you're um, with the standard deduction actually goes up. And I'm like, okay. I said, no, I only turned 62 last year. So he said, well, and I think you're going to owe about $200. I'm like, oh, boy, just what I wanted to hear. Yeah. I think it was better than last year. So. Oh, goodness. Did you stick yourself again? No, it just wasn't wanting to pull through. But I got it. I was this say is kind of heavy. a heavy fabric. and Yeah, it's that heavy canvas. And I was, you know, being... Um, Gentle? Well, I was being lazy, so I was going through four or five stitches at a time. And <laughs> it didn't want to pull through all those <laughs> stitches. Uh-huh. Did you all hear did you hear that now? Did you hear that? Did you hear what she said? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I said it. I admitted it. I was trying to take the lazy way. I'm doing it again. Yeah. Because I didn't learn my lesson. Uh huh. That's what my very intelligent son says about figuring out ways to do things. He said, Mom, it's only because I'm lazy. I'm like, okay. He said, if I can do it the easy way, then then that's because I'm lazy. <laughs> I'm like, okay. Mm -hmm. He said that that's the, um, that's the true, the faster he can do something, the, 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 the lazier he is. I messaged on my phone that said, someone in Texas has, Oh, <laughs> yep. Uh huh. Yeah, right. Mm hmm. Well, this, I don't know if we're just getting on to them or if the scammers are just getting dumber. Well, I'll tell you, one of them called my mother yesterday. I happened to answer the phone. Yeah, yesterday. I was over there giving her a haircut. I answered the phone. She wasn't going to answer it again. I understand why. 
Oh, Mrs. Short, we're going to come tomorrow. Is that a good day to come to, to, to take care of your roof? And I'm like, who the heck is this? Well, Mrs. Mrs. Short, your, your, your roof was damaged in a hurricane. I'm like, do not ever call this phone number again. They were going to come take care of mama's roof. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah. Well, I had, I had a one. I usually... If I don't recognize the number, I just don't answer it, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But um, I was expecting a phone call for something, and I wasn't sure where it was from. And so I just went ahead and accepted this phone call. And this guy was like, oh, we got a big problem with your with your iPhone. You need to No, it was your iPad. We got a big problem with your iPad. You need to type this in and, and we can take care of your problem. I said, how do you know it has a problem? And he says, oh, because cause we watch out for you. You know, and he's going on and on and on and on. And um, and uh, just secondhand, I need something. I'll finish the story in a second. Okay. Anyway, and so he goes on to give me all this rigmarole about how much they care about me and how much they're watching over my iPad. And I said, and you're really sure it's my iPad because I don't want to give this information to somebody, um, you know, and, and, and it'd be wrong. And he said, no, 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 I'm sure. I'm sure. And here's the, here's the security code. And he was doing all this stuff. And I said, I said, okay, well, I have one big problem. And he said, what? I said, I don't own an iPad. <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah, yeah. And he hung up. Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah. That that if that just amazes me. Uh-huh. Your P piece your um your PC has a problem. Uh-huh. Okay, Linda. Linda's gotta go off for dinner time. Have a good dinner. Usually when I hear them say, you know, your Microsoft account has whatever, I, you know, I just hang up because um, mm -hmm. I know that they're not Microsoft. But, but when he said my iPad had trouble, I just had to play with him because I was just like, okay. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's, that's, that's the best part. So I was like, uh-huh, sure, what? Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, mom said that somebody called her about her phone. Something about her phone. I can't remember, but you have to understand what kind of phone my mama has, guys. It 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 goes like this, and it dials a phone number. You know, that's that's the kind <laughs> of phone she has. It, it opens up like this, and it dials a phone number, and it has big numbers on it, so she can dial a phone. <laughs> that that's some total of it. And uh, I don't remember what they were going on about. She said she knew they weren't talking about her phone. <laughs> it's like, yep. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah, there's a. If they're worried about your phone and that's what kind of phone you have, you, you know you're talking to somebody who doesn't know what they're doing. Yeah, uh huh. So. Oh, there are a bunch, sadly, Susan. There yeah. are a bunch. Mm -hmm. And it, it makes me angry um, how many people get taken like that. It, it really does because. They're, you know, they're not, pick, they're picking on the vulnerable people. Yes. And the people who say, can least afford to have somebody come in and do something to them. And that makes me angry. Okay. Um. I was going to say this, this guy that called mom yesterday, he had her name, um, you know, and, and that she, her roof had to have been her, but, but Miss Short, you know, your roof was damaged in the hurricane. And I'm like, um. I was I was just very very nasty. So, did you find some more glasses? Yeah. Good. Oh, good. The well, they were twos, and that's why I didn't buy. You know, I would have bought more of the two fifties had I been sure. So. Oh, it's 4.30.
You didn't and realize that? My brain suddenly just went. <laughs> just went, uh huh. Yeah. I've had calls about my smartphone. I have a dumb phone. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> that, that's it. It's like, okay. Uh huh. Luann, did you see that? Did you get a, get the link to the um, video? Credit card consolidator to pay off her drug dealer. Oh, my goodness. Oh, dear. <coughs> oh, Susan made me cough. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yep. Uh -huh. I love uh -huh. that. Uh-huh, yeah. Oh, my Mm -hmm. Well, you know, when they're, uh, of course, those debt consolidators, some of those are, you know, actually legitimate businesses, but, um, but a lot of things, you know, when they're not, you just like, uh, uh. well, and what really bothers mom is the, um, the ones that call about her car warranty. Yes. Okay. Because first off, they call for my dad. Um, dad's been gone six years and they call for my dad because my dad originally purchased the car. His name's no longer on the title or anything, but he did purchase the car in the beginning. And so that bothers her. And then, you know, it's like, how many times do they, they go to, and I'm like, well, mom, it's a business. They sell insurance to warranty your car. And yes, your car warranty is gone. You have no car warranty whatsoever. But you don't need a car warranty like they're going to sell you. I was like, oh boy. I said, it's just a sales pitch. But it just bothers her. Yeah. Well, you know, not only is it a, a sales pitch when she doesn't need something sold to her, but it's a a, a memory a reminder that he's gone. That's part of it. That's part you know, of it. And, and um and he probably used to handle all that stuff. Uh until until he couldn't. Yes. He yeah. handled everything. Um and honestly I should have known better when, when he purchased this car. Um if I had realized he was going to get a car, I wouldn't have I, I would have come down sooner. Because um, the car he bought is, oh, it's a terrible car. <laughs> it's like, it's oh. awful. Um, it's, it's one of those things where he, there was a young girl as a salesperson, and, and my dad wasn't paying close enough attention to stuff by then. And he let her, her sell him a car that, oh, it's a terrible, awful car. Um, I like that one. Oh, that's really cute. simple. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, it was the weed man. The caller says, oh, ma'am, the weed man. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> the weed man. Because I've been to him for about, <laughs> about 3,000. Can you help me with that? Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, we were supposed to try to update, and we are supposed to push the person to buy. Oh, Lala. Mm hmm. <coughs> uh, I, I think that's a weed man. <laughs> Can you help me with the weed man? <laughs> oh, yeah. And that's right. The car warranty thing has been going on since the 80s. It's a it's a scam. Every every day she gets it. And she she doesn't answer her house phone because of that. Um, and it the problem is it's that she doesn't answer her house phone, and then people need her, <laughs> and she just hasn't answered the phone, and they call me because they can't get hold of my mother because she doesn't answer the phone. It's like okay, I'll call her. I'll see what's going on. <laughs> I 
Actually, one of my aunts um, sent me a message through Etsy. Okay, I have not had anything in my Etsy store for a couple of years because I have this problem with Etsy lately. Um, and so I haven't had anything in that store for ages and ages. <laughs> and luckily, her message came through and um, I was able to call her up and, and talk to her because she didn't have my phone number. She didn't have um, my email and mom was not answering her phone. So, and it's like, okay, uh, you know, they want to talk to you once in a while and they have reason to call you. We lost a, I lost a cousin who I had always called aunt, but, and my other aunt's cousins were trying to get hold of my mom to tell her. Well, yes, they that, persevered to find a way to get a hold of you. <laughs> yeah, uh, well, they, they'd have probably figured it out sooner or later. Um, Luann, this is Art Glitter Glue, and there's no glitter in it. Um, it's just called Art Glitter Glue. That's the brand. And um, I ordered, I, the only place I've been able to get it is on Amazon. Um, and you can buy it with or without this metal tip, but it's well worth it to go ahead and buy the metal tip. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then we have refill bottles Yeah. to refill good. that little bottle. Um, and then I buy this to keep this refilled because it's cheaper to buy it like this. It's a kind of expensive glue, but it is wonderful. I love it. This and my um, Elmer's Extreme Glue Sticks are my two favorite glues. This is my third favorite. <laughs> I mean, my second favorite glue stick. But <clears throat> Patty, Patty, welcome, Patty. Hello, hello. Uh, Hi, she, Patty. Said, she said, I tell them I'm so glad they called today because I have a special on Gensu Nights. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Ooh, so wonderful. Oh, that that's that's a good one. I like that. I'm learning uh -huh. all kinds of things to say now. Uh-huh. Um my um my friend they when they would call, she used to say something about no, I'm the babysitter. Um I have got 15 kids here. Could you please just come and help me? <laughs> <laughs> like okay uh, now she definitely wasn't the babysitter and she didn't have any kids there but um it was it was funny when she would talk about it she was a, a math teacher and uh she could really <laughs> make a, some funny remarks the day jeffrey got Sick and ended up in the hospital, and I couldn't get home in time for Jeff to, for Brandon to get off the bus. I called her, and she was sitting outside my house waiting for him to get home. And uh, she didn't want to tell him what was going on, so she said, "Your mom's going to call in a few minutes." He just figured she was there to have dinner because she used to come and have dinner with us quite a bit. I was like, eh, your dad had decided to have a little issue today, kiddo. Oh, well, that was really dumb, Tanya. What was dumb? Well, um, these numbers go this way and that number goes that way. So it's kind of upside down. I don't, I don't like it. So I, I'll just kind of adjust it a little. There you go. Uh oh. Uh oh. See, you have a uh oh tooth there. It's fine now. It'll be all right. <laughs> My brother-in-law either flirts with them or tells them he has to change his colossity bag, and they'll have to hold. He puts the phone down, and eventually they hang up. There you go. I want <laughs> to get one of those dangle toppers. This um, 
Beth Schuler made this for me. And it just, um, and the reason I can show you this is because my other pen, the head came off of it. And so I just, um, but she just put a little piece of wire wrapped and you just slide that on the pen and then hot glue it to the pen. And, um, and you have to have a stainless steel um, non-rustings pen. And that this little tip comes with one. But I ended up buying a whole box of them on Amazon because I break so many pins or bend them or whatever. And it was worth it to me to just have some extras. I have an extra tip because I had to buy an extra pin, <laughs> for, you know, from the beginning. So if I need a new tip, I have one. But... Um, but the dangly thing you can make yourself just with some beads. On some bead cord. Yeah. yeah. And I just got lucky and had a friend make one for me. It's really, I was using a bigger bottle. I was using a four ounce bottle when she made this for me. And it's really a little heavy for this bottle. If my bottle gets down about half empty, it'll pull it over. <laughs> so I try to keep my bottle full so that it won't do that, but it doesn't need to be this big to work. <laughs> the deal was she kept losing her pin. So, so by making yeah. the dangly thing, she doesn't lose her pin anymore. Mostly. Mostly. Well, yeah. It's uh -huh. under a pile of stuff and I still have to dig around and try to find it, but. Well, I put a magnet on my bottle and I still lose my pin. So, you know. Yeah. Okay. I'm using the little one inch pieces of thread that uh, I cut off of, a, you know, the very last bits that I cut off. I probably ought to put a little dot of glue on those because they will pull out. Um, Lala, these are just Dritz brand, D-R-I-T-Z, sewing pins. But they say on there that they're stainless non-rusting. Um, and I think it was like $5.40 for a box of 75. They're size 24. One and a half inch stainless steel pins. There we go. Ain't that one cool? I like that one a lot. Uh oh, stop it. I you had it. I yeah. had it focused and then it went away. There you go. Oh, that's really pretty. That looks like fall. Uh huh. Hi, Karen. Hi, Karen. But I. I think I'm going to put one little tiny drop of glue um, on that because I have a funny feeling that that will, they'll fall out if I'm no. Yeah. Oh, Lala, yeah, they're considerably more expensive if you have to buy the ones that, that, um, my my glue bottle is a mess, though. I really need to clean my glue bottle up. It's nasty. I also need to refill it before we go off. And we're going to have to get off in a few minutes. Did you yeah. know that? I know. I have, I have a few, though. I did pretty good. Yeah, I have a few, too. I'm happy. Yeah. I'm you learning know. to not expect quite so much of myself, I think. <laughs> Because now, um, the other days when we didn't get very many done, I was kind of disappointed in myself. But today, not so much. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, read Patty's cup. Um, the, uh, my other favorite is to get upset and holler through the house. Mike, it's that dang woman calling again. Now she's pretending to be a telemarketer. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, make sure, uh, yeah, Karen, um, we've been on since two o'clock, so, um, it's about time to get off. Um, but yeah, Lisa, we, I don't, I don't think we, we just can't accomplish as much as we would like to in a day. Yeah. 
kind of like um you know when you get a big piece of steak and your eyes are bigger than your tummy oh yes uh-huh Mm-hmm. Our crafty, mm-hmm. our crafty eyes are bigger than our time limit allows. <laughs> yes. So. Okay. <laughs> oh, Lisa. <laughs> yes. Uh huh. Don't worry, the job's finished, but there's blood everywhere. Yep, yep. Uh huh. <laughs> this is a. This would be a good uh, sit in, in in and this is a good slow stitchy sit and do kind of thing. You do. You could do this in your armchair. Um. Yeah. Very nicely. Uh. I mean, it's it's one of those good projects for. I don't have a piece of thread right here that needs says, uh, "You didn't use me. Why did you take me off the card if you didn't use me?" That's <laughs> what it's saying. Now, you don't want to stitch with a sharp needle if you're not paying attention to your stitching. True. Yeah, I you're poking say. yourself. Because <laughs> I'm stitching with a sharp needle because it's just so much easier. <laughs> yeah, me too. I, I poked myself. We need more craft time and less housework. Well, we all need that. Yep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I, I don't do as much housework as I should anyway. Me I either. Have, I wouldn't have as much craft time as I have if I if I did did the housework I probably should be doing. Yeah, me too. I yep, yeah, that's very true. But nobody has gone to their grave and said, oh, I wish I'd done more housework. No, I can't imagine anybody <laughs> has ever said that. No, no. Mm -mm. no. Although I would, I would rather not die in it with a dirty house because then people come over to visit and they have to see that. So, Well, here's the thing. So I can't I learned, die for a long time. <laughs> uh, yeah, I learned a long time ago my house is not as dirty as, as other houses that I have been in. So I'm okay with that. Now, it's a lot messier. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's true. And what I'm talking about is mostly mess, too. <laughs> yeah. And I don't care about mess. It does not bother me at all. I don't like it, you know, when it's dirty. And Jeffrey and, and the vacuum fairy got a new vacuum cord, so hose, so uh, everything is, is good with the vacuum fairy. That's good. We so, want to keep him happy. Yeah, yeah. You got to keep the vacuum fairy happy. And he says it works just fine. So uh, I said, now yeah. that's good because. I, I don't I don't want to have to who oh, I really like this one I'm I'm liking this one <laughs> less tra less chance of drop-in visitors to um, see your your clutter yep mm -hmm. okay I think that one's sweet oh that's adorable 
I just found that card in my scrap pile and I thought, oh, and I had that piece of fabric and I thought, oh, okay, I need focal point. <laughs> there you go. Yep. And and sometimes it's just like these silly letters getting on this one. Um how how come our, our non nondescript little stitched pieces ended up with focal points? But because it's what they wanted. That's right. That's what they wanted. Okay, come on now. Focus. Give yourself. Oh, well, you, you have uh -oh. something right there that you can put on them. Why not? Okay. Why does it do that? Come on. There right we there. go. Right there. Isn't it cute? I love it. I need. I don't have any of my book page numbers out. I need to. I oh, need to I had, take them off and just put them in a little. Just the well, number parts. Oh, just the number parts. They, they, yeah. these are the ones I. They were just on my little strips of paper, and I've yeah. just torn them off of the little strips of paper. So, anyways, guys, we're going to go. Is that okay with you, Lisa? Yep. Yep, so yep, yep. we love Hannah's you bunches. So that's what I What'd get. What'd you say? Hannah's making What's chicken soup. Ooh, yummy. I know. I'm looking forward to it. Yummy, yummy. So we will see you hopefully Sunday at noon yep. on my channel. Monday at noon, Monday at 6, Tuesday at 2. <laughs> Tuesday at 2, Thursday at 2. So um, we what will are we doing next Tuesday? I'll go get my book. I'll be right back. Okay. So yeah, I, I don't remember. <laughs> I don't either. I don't you want either. me to remember remember something. I can't remember something. Oh dear. I think we we did have a plan. I know we have a plan. Oh, that's yeah, not the least. It's that's still not the least. Worry, so I know we have a plan, but that's not the that that wasn't the Lisa journal. That was a different journal. So this is the Lisa journal. Um, yeah. No, that's March. Tuesday's March. Yeah, Tuesday's March first. March second. Tuesday's March second. Uh, we, we are going to do. Yes, we have a plan for March second. We're going to do boho beads using the little pin things, the leftover little pieces from the pins, um, and straws, and some beads, and wire, and fibers, and stuff. Whatever. And whatever. Okay? So, remember from the little pins we made last week? I'll get one. It's over here. Oh, dear. Oh, which, by the way, somebody said, and I have seen them. Um, the little pins we got for, um, for Valentine's Day, and I don't know who told me, but I did check it out. Um, these little tiny short pins, like this, these little ink pins from the Dollar Tree, um, they have them for Easter. So if you didn't get some for Valentine's Day, they have some Easter ones just like them. I mean, they're yellow and green Easter colors instead of having little hearts and the likes of that. Um, these actually start out really cute anyways. They, they already are painted with some cute colors, so um, they will be fun to wrap. They won't, they won't require a lot of work. So, uh, but we're going to use fabric and ribbons and odds and ends of stuff to decorate them up yep that okay. should be very fun and then thursday did we have a thursday plan we don't have a thursday plan yet so we will we will have to talk about that yep yep so um because then the next monday tuesday is when we'll be doing our 24-hour streamathon. right so um so that and that will probably be my last live stream for a little while. So um, I am but, going to be still streaming on Thursdays while Tanya's gone. Um, I haven't decided 
about Tuesdays. I thought I could just to, because I'm used to doing it, but I really need to work on my studio. Um, of course, I really need to get that done before Tanya leaves because when she gets here, it needs to be where she can actually come in. <laughs> well, if I if I don't stream after the 8th and 9th, we're not leaving here until the 16th. Um, I just know that I need a week. So you'll have, you know, if you if you stream on Thursdays and not on Tuesdays, you'll have a couple of weeks before I get there is what I'm trying oh. to tell you. All righty. Well, that's good. So. But Anyways, I might guys, get, you know, um, I might get lonely since I'm used to visiting with everybody on Tuesdays. So I, yeah. I don't know, you, don't know what might. I'm going to do. And if, if I can, I'll come and stream with you. But it, I just don't want to make promises after the ninth because I just know how much I've got left yeah. to do that I haven't done. Well, and then when you're out and, you know, and gone, you don't know if you'll be able to or if you, you might right. be doing something really fun. Yeah, well, and, 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 and I, I don't know what kind of Internet that I'll have. Right. So that's another part of it. So it's it's all... But and for the next the week after the streamathon, I really I've got to get some plants in the ground and some other stuff like that that I haven't been doing. So. Right, right. Okay. Anyways. Well, we love you all, and we will we love see you all. Uh, if not before, um, we'll see you Sunday at Tanya's. Don't forget about the Saturday morning hop and the Sunday evening live hop um, that Mary's put together. And Mary usually streams on Friday nights, too. So we might see you there. Yep. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.